You guys, this is the beginning of Windrock Park. Windrock, they have a cool little general store for you to go to. Uh, they also have 100% gas with no ethanol in it to put in your ATVs and UTVs. And throughout the park, they also have pressure washers set up so that you can get all of the mud off your vehicles. There's like a little grate that you drive on top of and then you can pressure wash your vehicle. And right around this corner right here, they have a little area all set up for kids to, um, or adults, to play with their RC cars. And it has like little um, trails and rocks to climb and all kinds of little setup for you to go in and play with your RC cars out here. And you can see right here is one of the trails that you can take um, kind of like around the mountain if you wanted to ride your um, four-wheeler or side-by-side -side to the general store and during the day you're allowed to ride your um, ATV or UTV on the road to the general store because this way if you go out the road this way that'll take you back to camp and you can also go to the left and that will take you um, back to the campground. There is also a church right over here on site that has uh, services and there is a gun range in addition to interspersed throughout they have covered areas and some of them are very large so if you had a large group of people you could do a big party or something like that um, there are no laundry facilities on the campground site but just like two and a half miles up the road is a laundry facility um, 1.1 miles after you get off the mountain is a grocery store and a Rite Aid so and then 10 10 miles or so up the road is a Walmart and everything else you need uh, restaurants and all that so this is a good little area that if you really didn't want to have to do much cooking at camp or something you can definitely go and um, eat in town or grocery shop each day or every couple of days if you needed to. So it's a nice little area. See this trail right here. Yeah. This trail right here is one of the final trails if it's considered the little shortcut from the campground to the general store if you don't want to ride on the hard top. So there are some pretty steep um, steep inclines coming down uh, from that trail, but it's a fun trail to go from the campground to the general store. These are some of the cabins that are interspersed around the mountain.
is a storage facility on the right for secure storage if you want to leave um, trailers and stuff here. And then to the left is where the office is. And this is the main office right here. And then this is where the managers and stuff live. And it's right where the big flagpole is. So this is where you come to get your passes to register, um, to rent your campsites and all that is right here in the main office. And then and you just loop out right past, there's another pressure washing station right here. And then you loop back out to the road and the campgrounds are gonna be down on the right. couldn't ask for a more beautiful location to go camping and four-wheeling and just going off-roading. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. The mountains in the background and yesterday when we were up in the mountains it was just the mist was just kind of floating across the trails uh, as we were riding. And this is the campsites. Um, everything has electric and power hookup um, and you choose what uh, whether you're 30 or is it 90? 30 or 60 and then they have primitive camping over on the sides that has no electric or water if you want to tent camp or if you just want to bring your enclosed trailer and camp like that. In the distance over here is where they have one of the large buildings where if you want to have group gatherings and they also have a playground for kids. This is the bathhouse and restrooms right here. And there's also drink machines. And this is our temporary home sweet home right here. This is for all the ladies. I know some guys care what the bathrooms look like, but the girls really, really do, especially if you don't have a shower or bathroom in your camper or your tent camping. Uh, the bathrooms here are huge and they are immaculately kept. Um, they have plenty of counter space and bathrooms, um, but one of the best things they have are massive showers. like. This is the largest one. They have a bench where you can keep your stuff. And then you have this whole space. Everything is stone floor with a drain. And the water pressure is awesome. And the showers are hot, hot, hot. So um, everything has been kept really clean here. We, we have no complaints when it comes to the campsites hook up, check in, bathrooms, that kind of thing. I thought I would just include that because that's something that women care about. So I thought I would just show you a little bit of what it looks like.
watch your ATV doing any of the trails uh, that were this hard? No, I don't think so. Okay. 
the uh, front pulled. Not if it's the transmission, he doesn't. Is it the transmission or the rear end? DJ. One and the Can same. Can you please stand over here? It's a cable We're going in all in on one side. You need to help okay. it. That is that I should be huh? You need to help you. get it. Okay. It's all going in on one side. Let's get it bottled up on the other side. It's all going to go to that side later. I thought we'd actually busted the tire, is what I thought the way it felt, because it like... Is it going? And then I got out oh, and you're like, still the fine, it doesn't look at an angle, but I see all this gray stuff pouring out all over the ground. Do you hear it as well? Keep watching. Is it going? Oh, you're fine, Heather. I think it's well, caught it's on something. Well, it's not going. That's big one. Yeah, it's already been replaced. I don't know if it's in that battery either. Uh, He's also got a winch at some angle or something. Maybe. Oh, all four tires are spinning. No, all three tires. Four tires ain't doing it. Right rear is not spinning. No, it's a truck. But all my fluid's gone. Yeah. Tear up everything else. Big rock.